Hello, and thank you for joining me today on Live With A Purpose. Do you hear the voice of the Lord? We're all wanting to hear the voice of the Lord. Uh, it's a good thing, and yet it could be frightening as well. We know this because of the people at Sinai were terrified, were horrified, really, of God's voice. In a sense, because it is overwhelming. But in another sense, because of their sin, because of their wickedness because of their hardened hearts. We need to be at a place where God is not our enemy. God is not a monster. We're not afraid of him. We love him. We fear him because we know he is majestic and powerful and great. And he is just and he is pure and he is holy. But we love him because we know that he loves us. He's the one that created us in the first place. And we need to learn to hear his voice. And his voice comes in through several means. The word of God, first of all. The words of the Lord Jesus. His teachings. The guidance of the Holy Spirit. Sometimes it comes in through wise counsel, maybe through your parents, through the pastor, through just people in the congregation as we're talking about our issues. Sometimes through children, sometimes through nature. But for sure, what we have is God's word. And God's word is clear that the Lord is always calling. While there is still time, the Lord is calling. There is a, uh, an old hymn. It says, uh, I, will, I can hear my Savior calling. I can hear my Savior calling. It's uh, an, an old song. Where he leads me, I will follow. Where he leads me, I will follow. Those are easy words, but that's the hard part because we're expecting for the Lord just to point in a certain direction. What he's doing is walking us through uh, obstacles and issues and problems and illness and death. Uh, not because he wants to, but because we've made a mess of things. And we have to learn to overcome these things through the power of the risen Savior, Jesus Christ. So we need to hear God's voice. We need to be clear about what God's word teaches and how the Lord uh, speaks. And in order to do this, when we pray, when we speak to God, we need to pause and take time. When we take time to praise his name or as we're doing things and just singing a little medley here and there to reflect on what those words mean. And then to think about what is happening in our own lives, what is happening in our families, what is happening around us. To say, Lord, what is happening? Help me to understand. Help me to be faithful, to be strong. Guide me, Lord, in your ways, that I may learn, O oh Lord, to love you and praise you and worship you. Let us be trying to hear God's voice, his calling to us, that the word continues. That there's no reason to sit back, to hold back, to take time, to reflect, and let somebody else jump in. The Lord needs us. We're still alive. We're still breathing. The Lord needs us. Think about this today. I live with a purpose.